Dr. Anthony Fauci, who recently said that there's virtually no chance that the novel coronavirus will be completely eradicated, has emerged as the face of United States' fight against COVID-19. Dr. Fauci, who is America's top infectious disease expert, has also issued a blunt warning that cities and states will see more COVID-19 deaths and economic damage alike if they lift coronavirus stay-at-home orders too fast. But for 79-year-old Dr. Anthony Fauci, one of the biggest battles he's facing is against the dangerous spread of misinformation, sometimes from within his own government. From his effigies being burnt and cries of protesters calling him a murderer, to smoke bombs thrown outside his office window, Dr. Anthony Fauci has seen it all over five decades as a medical researcher. However, there are many who believe that America's resilience in confronting a public health crisis comes from this compassionate man. With US President Donald Trump proclaiming that America is on a war footing to combat the COVID-19 infection, Dr. Fauci once again has become the man at the front line. Born on Christmas Eve in 1940 to a family of immigrant Italian pharmacists in Brooklyn, Anthony was delivering prescriptions from the time he was old enough to ride a bike. In 1966, he graduated first in his class at Cornell Medical School. In 1968, instead of heading to Vietnam, he joined the National Institute of Health as part of the U.S. war effort. A turning point in his career came in 1981 when Dr. Fauci was a senior investigator with NIH's Allergy and Infectious Diseases Division and came across a report about a mysterious immune disorder among gay men. Recognizing early that the new illness could be a global disaster, Fauci devoted his whole lab to AIDS research. He made significant breakthroughs in understanding how HIV destroys the body's immune system and helped develop strategies to bolster immune defenses. As the epidemic swept through the United States in the 1980s, he became the target of activists angry at the Reagan administration's muted response and lack of access to novel drugs. In 1984, Dr. Fauci was appointed director of the NIAID, a title he still holds. The research division he leads has overseen studies on everything from AIDS to Ebola to asthma. He has advised six presidents, including being a key architect to George W. Bush's President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, and now serves as explainer-in-chief to the public amid the COVID-19 outbreak of the Trump era. A recipient of the 2008 Presidential Medal of Freedom, Dr. Fauci has now become a trusted presence behind the podium at White House COVID-19 briefings. Since the pandemic, he has dispensed facts about America's response, explained the signs and also at times corrected President Trump's pronouncements. With over 84,000 deaths confirmed and 1.42 million infected in America, Dr. Anthony Fauci has indeed become US's trusted voice amidst the coronavirus crisis. Thank you for watching this report. For more such videos, stay tuned to My Nation.